Hello, we are just getting in to Utah. Glenna has got a wedding here Monday and the uh, couple has a piece of private land here at the resort that some of their family owns. We've got a nice one acre area to ourselves. So we're just getting set up. Glenna got in this morning from a wedding in Texas last night. She got in at six this morning and then we pretty much immediately hit the road up to Utah and just got in. So we're looking forward to getting camp set up and enjoy our time here. So we're just getting everything set up. We're getting the rug out this time just because this is kind of a loose powdery dirt. So other than that, we'll get our little campfire out. We did separate the trailer for this trip just because we're going to be out and about working with the couple. So we wanted access to the vehicle and uh, not to be hooked up for the next couple of days. One thing that I've got, and I'm really not concerned about it here, but may as well always use it, is a nice chain with a nice lock on it. And that just gives us a little bit of peace of mind. And then uh, another security precaution that I do take is I switch these out to uh, wing nuts with lock washers and I'll pull the chains off that way you know people don't have a quick access to just kind of throw those chains around a ball and go other than that yeah having the off-road coupler is uh I think another good deterrent it's not just a super basic hookup one last thing we haven't shown yet but we did add the Iceco 60 liter so I've just got to get our eco flow going and then get our solar out and then we'll have that all set up and make sure that's all charged we've got our solar panels going got the eco flow on running the fridge so i've been keeping the larger compartment of the fridge at about 38 degrees and then i run the smaller side at 29. other than that we'll put some water bottles in there and let them freeze up and then have you know colder water for a little bit longer depending on what we're doing and then on our bigger trips we'll actually use that side as a freezer but for something you know three four days don't need a freezer so that's how we're using that and then glenn was just getting our bed all set up we did laundry between the last trip so we've got a uh, fresh blankets sheets and pillows and all that just getting that all set back up glenn is getting ready to take a nap since she hasn't really slept since uh yesterday morning <laughs> the dogs are finally Getting a little bit tired, I think once we get them fed, which it is their dinner time, they'll uh, be happy and ready to rest a little bit this evening. I totally forgot Aspen Slow Feeder, but we had a spare egg storage container. It's the perfect camping substitute for a slow feeder. Looks like it's just about to be sunset. We're just kind of settling in for the night. Dogs are having a good time. Lydia's finally tired. Laying down in there. Aspen's uh, chewing on stick, as yeah, she likes to do. We are probably just gonna call it a pretty early night once the sun goes down. Both of us are pretty exhausted. I had to get up early to pick up Glenna from the airport. She is for sure 100% exhausted, <laughs> being that she has not slept since yesterday. We're hoping that we'll get a nice early night's rest and then uh, be ready to go for tomorrow. So one thing I'm learning about the solar setup is you pretty much are chasing the sun constantly. I think most of the day tomorrow, I'm just gonna lay the panel flat on top of the camper as we're gone for kind of the midday stuff that should allow it to get the best charge possible while we're not here to aim the panels exactly at the sun. Definitely a learning process, something that I knew. Oh my goodness, Aspen's getting hyped up. So it's definitely something I knew there's gonna be struggles with solar. You're gonna have clouds, you're gonna have issues with making sure that you're getting your full capacity every day. One of the solutions is obviously to add panels and that's something we'll consider at some point. But for now, it uh, seems to work pretty well. And worst case, we can throw the EcoFlow in the car and charge it off of the 12 volt socket. The sun is finally going down and we're just having a great time. Chilling out tonight, I would love to get some drone shots, but I'm gonna do some uh, video work for the wedding tomorrow. So I'm trying to save my batteries on the drone. I definitely can recharge, but I'd like to just know that they are ready to go 
So we're just gonna keep it kind of chill this evening and do a little bit of a different beginning to the video. But we are meeting back up with Ross and Cody and we're gonna go to White Pocket. I know we've done some videos there before, but it's gonna be really fun for us to take someone else there. We've really wanted to go there and share that experience with someone else. And so we're really excited to take them there and show them that area. It's just incredibly beautiful. We just had a little bit of chili for dinner. We already ate it, <laughs> so not much to see, but it was a nice, uh, easy first night of camp dinner. We're just gonna get to bed here soon. I think it's maybe 8.30, 9 o'clock Phoenix time. Nice to uh, get a little bit extra sleep. Well, good Monday morning. We are uh, just waking up for the day. Slept in a bit since Glenna had uh, such a long day on Saturday into Sunday. So yeah, we're just getting up, gonna get some breakfast going, and then we'll start to get ready for the wedding. So we're both uh, shooting it, I'm gonna do some video work, and she's doing the photography. Well, my solar setup on the roof seems to be doing well. We're up to uh, 96%, hopefully with uh, Plugging the cooler into the car this afternoon for a while. It'll get totally caught back up and then we'll be all set. I just saw this as I was getting up. This little cicada got out of its uh, shell right here on our uh, poles for the 23-0 awning. Pretty wild. All right, we just got back to camp after doing the ceremony and some of the portraits down at a really beautiful location. They've got basically right on the border of Zion. So on this ranch property, you're able to drive down and park just feet away from this really awesome waterfall and creek. So had a good time doing that. Dogs have been really good. We were uh, a little concerned, but we've been just leaving the car running with the air conditioning on and checking on them every 10 minutes or so. And they're doing really good, uh, just kind of hanging out while we're both busy. So happy with how that's going. So we just got back to camp, we're feeding them. And then here in about 20 minutes, we're gonna have to head back to a different location for the reception. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we got back a little late last night from the wedding, but it was awesome. It was an incredible elopement wedding. <laughs> we had the ceremony up on this amazing lookout that kind of overlooked Zion in the distance. From the ceremony, we off-roaded a little bit to this amazing area that I can't remember the name of it. We might insert it right here. It was just an incredible view. We did it at like 3, 3.30, which normally would be bright, crazy sunlight. It was overcast, so that was awesome. And then we went to the reception, had an awesome reception. I don't know if you'll be watching this, Forrest and Tyler, but if you are, you guys are amazing. We had so much fun and congratulations. Um, and now Doug's just making some breakfast. We're gonna head out here in a little bit to go to White Pocket and meet up with Ross and Cody. Just spend a few days there and then head back home. Also, if you are looking for an awesome place to stay, and camp. I think they have campsites and cabins and just kind of like a different, a lot of different things to choose from, but it's called Ponderosa Ranch, Ranch Resort right by Zion National Park. Highly recommend. So if you're looking for somewhere to stay that's not quite, you know, off grid or anything, just look that up and it's amazing. Well, my go-to breakfast lately has been uh, Costco had quail eggs for relatively inexpensive, so I've been doing quail eggs and then avocado toast. We are just pulling out of camp. Had a great time here. Really enjoyed this campsite uh, slash 
piece of property that the couple owns. And now we're headed down to uh, get some gas, fuel up, run to a grocery store, stock the fridge, and then head to White Pocket. 